Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to go over 10 4K titles that I think you should have in your Criterion collection, so stick around. Today I wanted to go over 10 4K titles that I have in my collection that I think you should definitely check out. These are all from the Criterion collection. Great films. They're all in 4K, and I think these right here would be some really good recommendations. Okay, first up we have Triangle of Sadness. This right here is from 2022. It is spine number 1178, and it's about this couple who go on a cruise. Um, I think it's an all-expense-paid cruise, and a lot of things happen on this cruise ship. And just a very strange film, definitely one that I would like you to check out. Okay, next up we have Raging Bull. This is from 1980. It stars Robert De Niro, and it's um, directed by Martin Scorsese. It is spine number 1134. And it's the story of Jake LaMotta. And it has some great special features that I really think that you should check out. So I really enjoyed that one. That was my first time watch whenever I picked this Criterion Collection up. And I really enjoyed that film. Okay, next up we have After Hours. This right here is from Martin Scorsese also. It is from 1985 and it's spine number 1185. And it takes you through the night of this one person. A very interesting story. Great performances and definitely one that I think you should check out. Now one of my favorites that I watched here in the past few years when this one came out on Criterion Collection is One False Move. This right here stars Bill Paxton and Cinda Williams. It also has a performance with Billy Bob Thornton. And just a really great story from 1992. It's spine number 1187. And it's about some drug dealers who are making their way from Los Angeles to Arkansas to a small town where Bill Paxton is the sheriff. Great story, great performances. Really enjoyed this one. Definitely check that one out. Okay, next up we have The Piano. Um, I've always enjoyed this film and I really love this edition on the Criterion Collection. It is from 1993, spine number 1110. And it's from filmmaker Jan Campion. It stars Holly Hunter, Anna Paquin, Sam Neill, and Harvey Keitel. Really enjoyed this story about this woman who can't speak and she has this big piano. I don't know, it's just a really great story. It's really hard to describe, um, but this woman has a pretty rough life. She has a husband that she doesn't really love and she kind of finds herself attracted to this other man who's unconventional, but really great story. I really enjoyed this one. Great performances by everyone involved. Another one that I really enjoy is Sound of Metal. This is from 2019, spine number 1151, and just is a great overall story about this man who is losing his hearing. He is in a punk band with his girlfriend, and the story just unfolds, and it kind of puts you in the perspective of him during his hearing loss. Great story, great character study, and one that I would highly recommend you check out. Another one that I really enjoyed, it's got a really Western feel to it, and that is The Power of the Dog. This is another film by Jane Campion. It is from 2021, spine number 1158. And it has a very interesting story, great performances by everyone in the film. It's got Kirsten Dunst in it, Jesse Plemons, and some other great cast. Definitely check this one out if you've never seen it. Another one that I just recently enjoyed for the very first time, and that is The Last Picture Show. This also includes the sequel, Texas Feel, which I didn't care for as much as I did the original. But this right here is from 1971, spine number 549, and it stars Sybil Shepard, Jeff Bridges, and Timothy Bottoms. And it is about this group of individuals who live in the 50s, and who live in a small town that is not really going anywhere. And just a great story. I really enjoyed this one, so definitely check that one out. Another great one that I really enjoy is from the Coen Brothers, and that is Blood Simple. I do believe that this might be one of their first films that they made. It is from 1984, spine number 834. And it's a very dark film as far as the subject matter is about a woman and who's having an affair and her husband wanting to kill someone. Um, really great performances. I really enjoyed this one. It is a slow burn, but it's definitely worth the watch. And then lastly, what I really enjoy is Mildred Pierce. This right here stars John Crawford. Now this right here is from 1945, spine number 860. 
about a single mother who is trying to make something of herself. Um, she starts out as someone who is struggling to make it and trying to get by and try to be better for her children and then how those years pass and how she does good for herself but how it kind of destroys her family um, but great story i really enjoyed this one and this is another one that i think you should check out so those are my 10 picks from the criterion collection that are all on 4k that i think you should check out please leave me a comment below let me know if you have any other titles that you think that would be worthy of a 4K release from the Criterion Collection because I really do enjoy reading your comments. But thanks for taking the time to watch this video today and we will see you next time.